it's Kim and Matt from Take a Hike, and today we're going to be doing a review about the tent that we use when we go backpacking. It's the Z Pack Triplex tent, um, and we'll also be taking it with us on the Appalachian Trail. So stay tuned to learn more about it. So the tent that we have is the Z-Pax Triplex um, tent, and it's one of their three-person tents, actually the only three-person tent that they offer. And a lot of people use the one-person, two-person tent, but to have enough elbow room and enough space for us for six months, we decided on the Triplex tent, and it's one of the best decisions we ever made because there's plenty of room for us. We've used it several times while backpacking. Yeah. It's a very tight squeeze with three, and plenty of room for two, and sometimes we take our dog. Yeah. So, I mean, you can make it work with three, but uh, if you plan on having your packs inside and all that stuff, it's just more comfortable, especially for a longer hike, we figured, uh, just to get the triplex versus the duplex. So. The biggest things that people like about the z Pax tent is that it's Dyneema composite material. It's basically like a tarp tent, mm -hmm. and it is extremely, extremely lightweight. Uh, one of the things we like about the triplex tent, of course, is the room, but also the material. The t material is Dyneema Composite. Um, Formerly known as Cuban Fiber. Cuban Fiber. Yeah, uh, it's uh, Cuban Fiber all along the top, and the, the, the bottom, there's a bathtub bottom to the tent, and it is also Dyneema Composite, but it's also reinforced, so it's a little bit thicker. And um, you don't lay a tarp down before you pitch this tent. You don't need a base for the tent. In fact, it requests that you don't use one. Um, so it makes it so you don't have to carry a footprint or anything like that, which is nice. And along with that, it's really weird because it's a very lightweight material, like she said, so uh, so you feel like you need something, but the material is so tough that you really don't. Another thing about this tent is that it is set up with your trekking poles. It's, yeah, it's, just... it's technically a frameless tent. So you use your... Uh, trekking poles and it requests that you set them at about 122 centimeters. We do anywhere between like 120 and 125 depending on what we need. Um, and sometimes the the bathtub sides on the tent are a little bit higher or a little bit lower depending on how we pitch the tent. Um, and so the tent comes with two doors. You'll see them on the sides when we start setting up the tent later on in the video. Um, the tent comes with two doors. Uh, that are completely mesh, a pretty mm -hmm. tough mesh to keep bugs out, but also um, vestibules. two vestibules that have two flaps that cover the sides. Um, and z -Pax says that it is encouraged that you keep one of the vestibules open or one of the one of the four flaps open so that you can have at least a little bit of airflow. It actually suggests that you keep two open to have uh, maximum airflow, that way you don't get dew on the inside of your tent in the mornings. If you have all the vestibule clothes, you will get that dew and that water residue on the inside of your tent in the morning. So even if it's raining, even if it's windy, if your tent can stand it, leave at least one of those vestibules open. Another uh, feature of the z Pax tents, all of the tents have this, is that the zipper cords and the, um, and the cords, the tie-down cords, are all kind of glow-in-the-dark if that makes sense. They're reflective. all reflective and colored. Um, that way, if you're looking around for your tent, if your headlight hits it, if your headlamp hits it, you can see it immediately. Those um, glowing cords are really, really, really nice. Um, no, just clarification, not glow in the dark, they're reflective. Reflective, so. sorry, not glowing, reflective. Um, another thing, another feature about this tent is it has a lot of guidelines. It, ha it requires let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It requires eight tent stakes, which is quite a bit of tent stakes. Um, but for that's those, kind of what you get when you have a frameless tent, is yeah. you need quite a bit of stakes. For those stakes, we got the MSR uh, Groundhog. It's a little twisted Y-frame style thing. Um, yeah. And always double check it. We learned that from our last... Um, our last camping trip, we forgot our tent stakes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a working mistake. And also, um, when you're checking that you have your tent stakes, and you actually check your tent stakes after you put them in the ground to, to um, erect your tent, you 
make, you want to make sure all those guidelines are super, super, super tight. Um, because when the heavy winds come, we have had it happen to where we didn't tighten it down enough and the tent ended up falling on me. Yeah. And then Matt has to go out at 1 o'clock in the morning and fix it. Um, which it's not like it hurts because it's such a lightweight kind of thing. Um, it's just a surprise at 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and it's not that hard to put back up again, but you want to make sure everything's kind of tied down. That way you're not having to get out of your tent at 1 o'clock in the morning and fix things. <laughs> Um, also on the inside there are two mesh pockets to put your things. Um, they're actually pretty sizable, like we can fit cell phones, wallets, and things in the two side pockets that are um, at the head and the feet of the tent. Um, and that same mesh is the mesh that's used to connect the bathtub floor to the tent and also for the doors of the tent. So the triplex tent, um, unless you kind of request that it doesn't come with it, there are, um, there's like seam tape. Uh, that helps everything be a little bit more waterproof. Um, it also comes with all of the guy lines and all of the clips um, to help adjust and tighten the guy lines. It comes with a stuff sack, which we have it in right now. We carry it in the stuff sack. The total weight of everything, not including the stakes, the stuff sack and the tent and the guy lines and the clips and all that is about 24 ounces. So incredibly lightweight. Um, we absolutely love this tent. This is our favorite tent we've ever had. Um, and yeah, we'll be taking it on the trail. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go outside and uh, set it up and also give you a few little bit more tidbits of information while we're outside. Uh, so stay tuned for that. According to their website, they say that it's 48 inches tall, so you can see all the headroom. I'm just sitting straight up, about six foot tall. So, um, 48 inches tall, 60 inches wide, and seven and a half inches long, or inches <laughs> seven and a half feet long. So, six, six foot. I got plenty of room down here. Plenty of room down there. Um, let's see. So this clip here, you can take this off and you can clip it onto the loops right here so that you can pull the edges away from the, away from the rain if it's raining, um, just to keep you dry inside. Um, it's got a, so of course it's got those on all four corners and then on both sides you have a pretty good sized little mesh pocket. Um, yeah, and it comes with a little bit of, um, uh, comes with a little bit of extra seam tape in case you get any punctures or, um, uh, need to seam seal something. Um, so we usually just keep that inside of our tent. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, follow us on Instagram and, uh, keep an eye out for more of our videos. And until then take a hike.